the, the basic idea is very simple. It's econ. It's what you study in econ one. If you make something less costly, you'll, people will tend to do more of it. So the the, the safety regulation of that era, uh, to, to a large extent still today, what it does is it makes the consequences of uh, uh, getting into an accident, doing things that have accident risk, it, it makes it makes it less costly. So you'll do more of it. So what ha- what I found, I mean, we're talking about techniques that are fifty years old, and I would be embarrassed to use today. But what I found was that. Uh, the uh, uh, a decade of requiring P- seat belts to be installed and and uh, pop out windshields and collapsible steering all this stuff, which reduces the consequences of getting into an accident, led to more accidents and more uh, 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 deaths uh, due to the accidents outside the car. You you were buckled up and you survived, but the pedestrian who was crossing and you weren't so motivated to pay attention, they got they got uh, they got hurt. Uh, so that was very you can imagine quite controversial. But it did wh- wh- why we're here today still talking about it is not because of that particular result. It, because it, it it led people to look at for the to see if the general point had some merit. If you reduce some kind of risk, you're making it more likely that people will take that risk. And that's the example of the American Disabilities Act, which wasn't my work or the Endangered Species Act. And there's a lot of other. Uh, applications which uh, are stunning in their variety to me. I, uh, I, I should have uh, set up a website when when you could with examples of this kind of thing, but I didn't. I'm not that ambitious to to, to do things like that. But it, it's had a, an enormous range of applications. I mean, even to my, my uh, 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 John mentioned that I. Uh, studied financial regulations, a very good example of the same principle. The government tries to make the financial system less risky. So it induces the banks to take more risk because the customers are going to be covered and they don't care. They don't withdraw their deposits like they used to in the old days if you take excessive risk. Uh, And you get a financial crisis every 20 years or so. So, so, so it's got an, it's, it's, it's the fact that the idea, which is basic economics, nothing more, has so many applications that I think accounts for its endurance 